Top of the morning, guys. How y'all doing, man? Headed out for another trip this morning. We got rain early this morning. Nice, steady rain. It's not no play rain this morning. Man, I'm stuck between two lakes. I didn't do a lot of research during the week. Uh, kind of just crammed it in last night. Um, so I'm stuck be between going to Lake D. Russell uh, or headed to Carter's Lake. Lake D. Russell is supposed to be one of the best crappy fishing lakes in Georgia. Carter's Lake, on the other hand, is a deep water lake as well. Uh, not known for crappy though. I think they have wildlife, striped bass. I think it's known more known for, for those fish than it is crappy. So man, I don't know what to do, man. Lake D. Russell is a huge lake. I'm worried about launching at the right, right place. Carter's Lake is a big lake as well. But I feel like it might be more of a challenge being the people are saying it's uh I saw somebody call it the Dead Sea, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna flip a coin, yo. Carter's Lake is a little bit about 20 minutes short of a ride than Lake B. Russell. But I'm down for the ride. Let's go ahead and flip it. Heads, we're gonna do Carter's Lake. Tails, we'll do Lake B. Russell. Let's see what we get. Tells it is, Lake B. Russell. All right, guys, here we go, man. We made it at the ramp. I have no idea how this day is gonna go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, guys. Jigs only today. Jigs only. No more live bait. No, I'm not gonna say no more live bait. But uh, I'm feeling really confident with the with these jigs, and uh, we're gonna keep on rocking out with them. Uh, right out the gate, man. At this ramp, there's a bridge to our right. We're gonna go check those pilings. See if we can get a couple catches just to start the day. And then we'll go ahead and look for brush, man. Look for brush off in these creeks. Uh, we'll check the water temp, see how far these crappies should be up in the creeks. We have no idea how this day is gonna go, man, but you know, out here, man, having fun, man. So uh you guys stay tuned, man. I'll be back with a fish on. Found a few more fish down here. They don't look very big. About eight feet deep. Let's see if we can catch a couple. Just had a bite, y'all. Just had a bite. Got one, y'all. Got one. There we go. There we go. There we go. They've been real stubborn. Finally got one to bite. Finally got one to bite. Little small crappy there. Let's see how long he is. Might throw him back. Let's see. Oh, he's right at 10. We're going to go ahead and hold on to him. Let's go, guys. <coughs> Fish on, y'all. Fish on. Yes, sir. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Look at that, y'all. He swallowed it. Swallowed it. Nice, healthy crappie there. Y'all see that? Nice football. And there was no thump that time, y'all. He just took it. He just like inhaled it. Straight inhaled it. Got one, y'all. Ah. <laughs> Bait is almost as big as the car as the catch. Saw that line tighten up that time guys didn't feel a thump i just saw the line tighten up this one's on a little small side but if he's a 10 we'll keep him a little deformed there uh, nine and a half we'll throw him in the bucket Coming out here to get groceries, guys. Coming out here to get groceries. And guys, I'm just using a four pound test. Uh, this is Mr. Crappy monofilament. Uh, this is a Bobby Garland two inch. Um, I don't know the, the name of the color, but it's the, it's like a darker yellow, uh, greenish bluer uh, back. And I chose this color based on my color selector. Um, I thought this was probably going to be the closest thing to what I needed, and they've been hitting it. And I've got this four-pound Mr. Crappy paired with my Daiwa LT2500. Y'all should know by now, this is my favorite reel. Um, and I'm still running the ACC Crappy. Uh, this is the seven, six, seven foot six inch uh, ACC Crappy stick. All right, guys, so like I said, man, there weren't many fish right here. Uh, we got three. <clears throat> we got three keepers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this buoy up, and we're gonna keep moving, man. We got a lot more, to, a lot more area to fish. Got a few sitting off this uh this drop off here. About six feet deep. Let's see if we can catch them. Oh yeah. Stack full of crappy. Stack full of crappy. This pile here is stack, y'all. See that? Yes, sir. All right, let's drop our color C lector on down. All right, so it's telling us this little tan color is what we need to be throwing now. Here's that Berkeley Power Bait. So, uh, gonna be a two inch minnow, and this is the smelt color. They're really shallow, actually, guys. They're only about four feet deep. But I got a feeling this smelt is going to do it. Uh, 
All right, let's get turned around. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me, y'all. Hung up again. What in the world? So guys, I think we're gonna have to vertical jig this. This brush is coming all the way up to two feet. And I'm pretty much just gonna keep on getting hung. Trying to fish it any other way. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, look at that. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? Vertical jig. That's the only way we're gonna get this pile here. It's the only way we're gonna get these fish. Can't cast at them. It's a nice healthy 10, 10 and a half. Can't cast at them because the brush comes up to two feet. But we, def we definitely can vertical jig them. All right, so now that I've got the game plan, I'm gonna come back around so we can have our boat uh, facing the wind, throw our spot lock on, and we can uh, we can grab a couple out of here. All right, we're gonna stop it right here. Fish on y'all. Look at that. No time. They just waiting for you to drop it down there. Waiting for you to drop it down. One's a little bit too small. Throw them on back. We're gonna get a couple more out of here though. Got him. Ah, small little fish here. I mean, they're, they're right up under the boat, y'all. Right up under the boat. Hugging tight to this brush. Had a bite there. Got him. See if we can find some more of those bigger fish down there. They tearing the smelt up though. They are tearing it up. The problem is the wind keeps changing direction. My spot lock is getting all out of whack. So it's really hard for me to hold this spot. I'm kind of just having to drift. There's so many fish right here though, y'all. So many fish. Damn it. I tell you, this one kind of, it's kind of frustrating because I know the fish are there. It's one of the largest car concentrations of crappy I felt all day. But this brush is just uh, so high in the water, man. It's really hard to get to them. All right. So I'm gonna guesstimate about five. This is about, it's a seven foot six pole. That's about two foot, two foot six, six inches. So I'm just gonna drop this down to my rod tip is in the water. Or almost at the water, I should say.
Got one, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? All right, so that's the sauce there, y'all. We're gonna rinse and repeat that guy. Still right undersized. Let's see if he makes the cut. Not a huge crappie by any any shape or form, but uh, nine and almost ten. We're gonna go ahead and hold on to him. Yes, we are. We're not gonna do any reeling. Just gonna drop this thing down till the rod tip almost hits the water. My goodness, y'all. My goodness. These fish are hitting it like, man, we've been waiting for you to get it to us. They're hitting like we've been waiting for you to get it down to us. Ah. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Dipping for crappy. I had a bite there. Got him that time. Same, look like the same fish almost. Let's go ahead and get him away from this pile. We don't want to catch you again. As soon as this wind decides what direction it wants to blow, we can catch some fish. There we go, y'all. There we go. I don't think it's ever been this easy for me to catch crappy. I mean, you just gotta drop it in front of their face and they're taking it. A little too small. He, I mean, he might just be making the cut again. Just be making the cut. Just making it. Got him. Got him. He just put the head that one in his mouth, y'all. He started running with it. I ain't even feel him. Just had it in his mouth. That's a legit 10 there. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up another successful day on the water. Uh, today, man, we, we got out here, we caught at least 12 or 14 crappy. Ended up keeping uh, nine, I believe, uh, all on the jigs, man. So, you know, we're making some progress with these jigs. Only been really using them for about two months now. So yeah, man, Lake Russell, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I think we'll head back out here next weekend. I think we'll head out here next weekend and see if we can get some bigger fish. Uh, that's probably the only uh, knock I have right now. Uh, using these jigs, man. I'm not getting, you know, the uh, bigger size fish that I'm kind of accustomed to seeing, uh, but I am pulling in fish, so you know, it's a learning process, man. Uh, and I'm gonna give y'all all the feedback as I go, man. So uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. And until next time, LFP Worldwide, signing out.